Thanks to Stephen for his uh, introduction and welcome. I'd just like to add my own welcome to Stephen's. Uh, thanks to everyone for coming. We're here to talk about In With The New. I'm not quite sure how this room fits with that theme, but it's a, it's a lovely, lovely venue, and the, the room next door is lovely as well. So I hope you enjoy the day. Um, my name is Andy Powell. Um, I'm your chair for, the, for, for today, so it's my job to keep us on schedule, keep all our speakers on track. Remains to be seen how well I do that. We've got some, a lot of 20-minute slots today, so it's going to be quite hard work, I think, making sure we keep the track, but I'll do my best. Uh, the other thing I must quickly do is just say welcome to our online viewers. We have a live stream today. We've, we've done live, live streaming at our last, I don't know, five or so um, symposia, and we're doing it again today. Uh, just to say to the people who are watching online, you are very welcome to join the debate today. Um, most, the easiest way of doing that is through the Twitter hashtag, which is hash eSIM13. I'm just doing my David Dimbleby impersonation. Um, and uh, we have someone in the room, Lisa, I'm not sure if Lisa's here yet, but someone will be coordinating any feedback we get through Twitter. And if you want to ask questions, do so on Twitter and we'll try and relay those into the room. To people who are in the room, um, we're quite tight on time today. Uh, we will have options for, for Q&A, but obviously if you don't get a chance to ask a question because of timing issues, um, clearly uh, people are around in the coffee breaks and so on. So there's plenty of opportunity to, to enter into discussion in those breaks. Um, just some uh, rather mundane housekeeping stuff. Um, toilets, I guess you've probably all found out where the toilets are, but there's some on this floor, uh, kind of around the back of the stairwell, and then there's some downstairs on the ground floor. Fire alarm, uh, there was a notice up earlier, but fire alarm, there's no practice today as far as I know. If the fire alarm goes off, it's a genuine fire. I assume we will be led out of the building, so uh, just pay attention. Um, mobile phones on silent, please. Cle clearly, we want you to have your mobile phones on, particularly if you're using Twitter and so on. Uh, but if you could put them on silent, please, so we don't disturb the speakers. Uh, coffee breaks, tea breaks, lunch, all in the Great Hall. Drinks reception afterwards in the Great Hall. Um, and as Stephen mentioned, this is our ninth symposium. It's the eighth one I've been involved in. And... It's a little different today, it's a new venue for us, but it's also a new audience, as Stephen said, and i um, very pleased to welcome you all here today. I normally do a little show of hands at this point, I'm going to do it, just so we get a feel for who's in the room. I know not everyone is here uh, yet, I think there have been some disruption on the trains and so on, but um, just a quick show of hands, just to give you a feel of who's in the room. So first off, who's been to one of our symposia before? Uh, it's probably about half of you, I would guess. Um, who here works for government, either directly in a government department or for some kind of a government agency? Okay, that's probably a little under a third of you, something like that. Who's here from charities? Who works for the third sector? Okay, that's a smaller group. That's not that surprising. It's something we need to work on, I think, as we take these events forward, is trying to reach out to the third sector and, and get more people from that sector here. Um, who's here from higher education? Yeah, okay, again, probably a little bit under a third. So um, just so everyone feels included, who hasn't put their hand up yet? <laughs> okay, cool. All right, thank you very much. Um, so just a bit of background about today. We, we picked the topic for the symposium around November, December. I like to leave it quite late because I like to see what's, you know, what interesting topics are coming up, but other people in EduServe... Um, kind of start getting very nervous if we haven't chosen the topic. What normally happens is I go to a trustees meeting with a suggestion for the theme of the symposium and they kind of rubber stamp it or they give me some feedback on it. This year I took three themes to our trustees um, with the intention that we would pick on one of them and I think from memory that one was around data analytics which built on last year's um, symposium which was about big data one was around mobile workforce meeting mobile citizen, and one was around the challenges of engaging with citizens and donors through use of new media. And the trustees um, listened to these three, and they said, yeah, all, they all sound interesting. Why don't we do them all? And um, my initial reaction was, mental note to self, only go with one suggestion next year. Um, but 
actually, I think they do work together. And so we've, we've kind of been left with this sort of three-pronged theme for today around new skill sets, new modes of engagement, and new ways of working. And I think those sort of three news do hang together quite, quite nicely as, as um, the topic for the day. I would say this, that they are broad, ta you know, taken in totality. Those three taken together is a huge area. And we could very easily have spent a whole day on any one of those. Um, and therefore, I think it's fair to say we are unlikely to cover those topics in any detail. And that's really not the intention of today, to go deep into any of these things. This is kind of broad brush, and, and intentionally so. And so we, ha we have speakers here today who will hopefully come up, cover G Cloud and, and cloud issues more generally. Uh, we've got people talking about open data, big data, legal issues around those things, new business models, new modes of engagement for government, for both, and, uh, both for um, citizens who are interacting with government, but also um, donors and beneficiaries who are interacting with charities. Um, new ways of working, so more agile ways of working, things like DevOps and so on. Uh, looking at the PSN, the Public Services Network, uh, and what that brings. And um, we've also got one slightly left field talk about l looking at the way, uh, looking at the things people can learn from the way the Olympics was delivered uh, last year. So, quite a broad set of topics, quite a broad set of speakers. It's a pretty mixed bag. Some would say slightly eclectic, maybe. I think that's a good thing. I think there's a, a lot on the agenda today that will be interesting um, and you know, good to listen to. The intention is not that you leave here as experts in any of this stuff, but, but that you leave perhaps with a better understanding of why these things might be important to you as you go back to your day jobs. What things you, the things you should be taking away is a kind of broader understanding of the way in which these things might impact on on you in the future. There is plenty of opportunity for discussion, particularly, as I say, out in the, the coffee and tea breaks, but to a certain extent through direct questioning. A little bit tight on time for that, I'm afraid. So we have a packed day, apart from two keynotes, one at the beginning, one at the end. We have um, a number of talks, I think there's nine or so talks, all about 20 minutes long. Um, and as I say, we'll take questions as and when we can, but um, it might be quite tight. I've warned the speakers that I'm going to be reasonably hard on them in terms of time, partly because of having the live stream, but partly just in terms of good housekeeping. We want to keep on track as far as possible. So I want to say a little bit more about the themes before I hand over to, to David, our first speaker. Today, to a certain extent, is about dealing with change, in with the new. And again, to a certain extent, that change is being imposed on us from the outside. It's, it's part of a, a much wider set of trends that are taking place out there on the internet, out there in the wider world. Having said that, it's also true to say that, that governments, and I say governments in plural, governments and to a certain extent charities are driving their own agendas as part of this change. And it's certainly not the case, and it's not the intention today for people outside of that space to come in and say, this is how you should be doing things. That's not the intention. If we think about what Tim O'Reilly said when he visited GDS, uh, I think, in the tail end of last year, he said, and I'm just going to read out the quote, because I think it's pretty impressive. He said, you guys have inspired me. What you've done with your work is truly remarkable. The GDS strategy document could be applied to every major corporation on the face of the planet. You guys are working in government and making a big difference there, but I think you're potentially showing the way to a transformation of the IT sector in every organization, and it's really inspiring. I mean, that is a pretty amazing quote from someone like Tim O'Reilly talking about a government initiative. I mean, if I worked for GDS, I'd be framing that and sticking it above my fireplace and telling all my mates about it when they came round, because I think that's an, an amazing accolade for people working in government, and pe particularly people working on the GDS. And I think they should be pretty proud of that. Having said that, the real challenge, of course, is taking what we're learning through things like GDS and other initiatives and applying them to uh, you know, other government departments who aren't in quite the same position that GDS is in. I think that's really... Uh, you know, where we've got to do the work we've got to do, and similarly to organisations working within the third sector. 
The other thing I just wanted to quickly say is that um, the kind of challenges and the changes we're talking about today are just as difficult on the supplier side as they are on the consumer side, if we're thinking about something like G Cloud. They're just as challenging for people like EdgeServe as suppliers into that marketplace as they are for people who are consuming services and so on. And I've sat through a lot of meetings within EdgeServe thinking about how we take what we've done traditionally with a kind of managed service hosting offers that we've you know, made over, over quite a long time now and tradition, transition those and position them in a sustainable way in this new sort of cloud, G cloud marketplace. And that's non-trivial for us. We've got to position them so they're right, we've got to position them so that they're meaningful, we've got to position them so they're competitive within this new kind of framework. Um, and it, it isn't easy to do that and we've spent a lot of time thinking about how we do that. There will be times when you probably think we're being too slow to respond to these changes. There'll be times when you probably think we don't have a clue what we're doing. Well, I can assure you there are times when we don't have a clue what we're doing. And in part, you know, days like today are just about as much about us learning from the speakers we've got here today as they are about you learning from the speakers we've got here today. It's about us engaging in a discussion so that we can learn from each other and move forward into this new environment in a, in a better way. It's, it's a highly disruptive market, and I think it's proving to be disruptive on both sides of the equation, to be honest, and that's partly what today is about. And that brings me very nicely to our first speaker this morning, uh, David Cotterell. David is Deputy Director for Strategy and Change in the IT Reform Team at GDS, the Government Digital Service. David is responsible for delivering a strategy for UK government that reduces IT costs, delivers better services, and of particular interest to uh, organisations like EDUSERV, encourages um, SMEs playing in this space. Uh, David's going to be speaking about the way the public sector uses and delivers technology uh, and the changes underway to ensure that we deliver a 21st century infrastructure for the UK. Over to David. Thank you very much.